one. There we go. All right. It is 6.30, July 31st. Get right. Where are your sports fans at? We know where we're at. We are. We are here. Carl's Garage and Collectibles in Havertown. Welcome. Show number 39. 39. 39. All right. All right. Welcome to the show. What do we got going on? Go uh, trains. <laughs> well, first and foremost, we've got to send out our condolences to the um, Nick Bonacotti family. I Nick, saw that. Nick, Nick uh, passed away today. Um, true NFL legend. I believe he was 79 years old. Um, so... Condolences to the Miami Dolphins family and, and uh, to the Bonacani family. Um, so unfortunately, we lost a, a legend there. Yeah. And uh, seems to be happening more and more these days, but uh, hopefully, uh, I don't know. It's a sad, it's a sad one when we, see our, when we see guys like that pass on and, you know, we look, we look up to, you know, we look up to those guys and, you know, uh, he was a big he was a big time player back in the day. Yeah. You know, so condolences on that, and you know, hate to have to open the show that way, but uh, you know, uh, it's unfortunate. But uh, so welcome everybody. This is uh, like Mario said, show number thirty nine. Thirty nine. And next week is big four out. Right. So uh, we got a we got a lot going on, and we're, we'll we'll uh, we'll touch on a lot of it in, in between here and there. Um, if you guys want to hang out with us for the next hour and participate, call us out, challenge us. I I, I do have to mention we're not blurry. There you go. So I, I wanted to give a shout out to FiOS. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're we're now, uh, as Ryan Hannigan says, we're no longer on dialogue. <laughs> so um, yeah. So so um, yeah, I'm I'm keeping an eye on it here. But if you guys see something, and if I'm not, just let us know. Uh, hopefully it sounds okay. We were having is it a good thing or a bad thing. Well, <laughs> they get to see our faces a little better, which is not, in my mind, not that great. But for them, they might think it is. So, um, what we got going on? Well, tonight, Matt Stairs autograph baseball. We'll pick a winner tomorrow. Okay, All so right. so that's tonight's agenda. Um, we'll get that signed next week um, when Matt, you know, comes comes to the show. And on that um, note, next week, yeah, that'll be on the show. Yeah, I mean this. So uh, it'll, it'll kind of look just like this. A little different. <laughs> You'll have a goatee next week. Yeah. Well, we, you know, Matt can be like, can John sit in for you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go play another eight rounds of golf. Yeah. So. But, uh, yeah, so we got a lot going on. Um, one other thing, if you share a post on this fan's view, there's an opportunity for a $50 gift card to P.J. Willihan's. Uh, which is pretty cool, especially if you go on Tuesday nights with half off wings. Yeah, there you, go. you can double down. Um, come on a Wednesday after the show and join us. Well, uh, I'm just, I'm just, you Try know, to maximize your money. You know, yeah, uh, a, yeah, that makes it's sense. It's a big bang show, and, and you know, we just give stuff away. <laughs> but um, so, I don't know. You want to talk Phillies? You can. I know you're. I know you're heavily yeah, disappointed. John, John's chopping it. I know bit. you're heavily disappointed as I am. <laughs> Yeah, um, it, was, it was tough. Tough today. You know, they went. They come so far. Now they're not. Well, they told us. They told us they were going to do this. They did. You know, but you, you bought a car and you didn't buy gas. But you know, how many times do they say this is what we're going to do and actually do it? Well, true. And that's that's the thing. You're hoping it was a smoke screen. Right. You're hoping that was a smoke screen, but. Uh, kisses and hugs, Sandy. Very clear and very handsome boys. Kisses and hugs. She watching a different show? Must be. <laughs> <laughs> Must be. Must be. You know, it's, 
But damn it, I'll take the compliment. I'll take the compliment. Thank you, Sandy. And she did wear our shirt at the game last she last uh, oh, Sunday. I think it was Sunday she went. She did. So, you know, if, if, if we would have just gotten a starter. Another starter. That's not, really all I wanted. You know, starter and another another bullpen piece. Right. All right. So I'm I'm going to throw the I'm going to throw the immediate challenge flag. You're yeah. not happy with Drew Smiley and, and, no, no, and no, Jason Vargas? No. no, I I I do like those pieces. Okay. You know, it, it, it's all right. Well, let's talk it up because that's all we got. Yeah, well, so that's all we got. That's all you got. Be good. You know, it's um. Oh, we got Blake Parker as well. So you got you got another guy there. You know, for the bullpen. Um, so Steve Harris is. You need, you're talking in a tin can. Sorry, I gotta get my. We need to hear him. We need to hear him better. Yeah. And sorry, Steve. We're working on a third <laughs> tin can. We yes. only were able to purchase two. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't know. It, it's it's tough. You know, it's. So who who was out there that was available that you think we should have got? We had Strowman. He okay. went. He went pretty relatively cheap. Um. Got um, Trevor Bauer went relatively okay. Um, you know, may have cost us maybe a bone, you know, for, for him. Uh, maybe not. <coughs> you know, we may have been able to get him a little bit. You know, so for the Mets and Cincinnati, they get the two top pitchers out there. Yeah, you know, well, Houston got Zach Greinke at the last minute. So, okay, you know, um, so I didn't give up much for him. Right. Yeah, he wasn't on our. We weren't on his trade list, so that makes it a little hard. So, given the fact that we now have all the pieces that we're going to have for this year, right. where do you see us ending up? Because somebody asked if we're going to catch the Braves, their Braves, as they call them. No, we're not. We're not catching them. We're not, but the Nationals will. Yeah. So Nationals. we're going to end up in third. Oh yeah. Well, no, I'm. I'm not ready to concede. You guys might be, but no, I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm not. Asking. Since I'm not we're, ready. Well, but since well, we're, you just, you just said we're not going to catch, yeah, we're not catch the Braves, Braves but Washington, Washington will, will. That was right. in third place. So, And that drops the Braves down. Oh, and okay. So since we have the gotcha. talent in the room, right. the boys need to play better. So right. you're, you're, you're calling Washington Phillies Braves? Yes. Out of the season? Yes. I, I'm actually okay yes. with that because I know we're, I know we're not going to win the division. Oh, if that's the case, then we have a ball spot. Right. I, I just sure. want to get in. Well, I, I just want to get in. That's all we need to do. No, I do just want to get in. But, but my, my biggest question is why we went the direction that we went since the beginning of March. Yeah. We didn't need pitching. We right. got enough pitching. Even back in December. Okay. Back, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You know? yeah. I, I'm, I'm okay with that. Yeah. Um, the relief pitching that we did sign hasn't worked out. No, it was reported. It was reported today that we lost uh, twenty six point seven million dollars for thirty minutes. Guy's full of numbers. <laughs> he hates <laughs> analytics, but he's full of numbers. Well, I hate analytics. It's the way we use them. Right. Yeah. You know, you're not used properly. I mean, you know, our anal- the Dodgers are one of the biggest teams that use analytics. They use it differently than we do. That's, that's all I care about. I mean, they have much more talent. You know, one through forty than we do, in, in on our you know lineup. But you know, it's I, I just don't. Um, I like the, I like Smiley pitching right now. You know, <coughs> but he was released for a reason. He was getting lit up. You know, so but, I mean, hopefully, but, but hopefully did, it changes in he, Yeah, a fresh start. Um, you know, you know. I mean, Philly Philly seems to be a fun place to to play. Oh, no, I mean, I, I just look at, I look at the, the the fundamentals of the Phillies when they get out early and have a, a well pitched game. Right. The rest of the team seems to fall into place. Right. Exactly. And they're able to win those games or be so much more competitive that it really doesn't matter after that because you know you're in the game. Right. And up until you know getting. Smiley and now Jason Vargas, who I compare to to another Jamie Moyer kind of yeah. kind of mainstream. Yeah, you know, soft throwing, you know, lulls you to sleep, you know, and as long as he can get 
get out, I'm okay with that. Yeah, so, but you don't have the overpower, so maybe no. you get me out. So Jack has a question. No, no, for Jack. Uh, no J4 at your no, 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 it's an actual question. Who is the last free agent reliever that worked out? That worked out? Yeah. I, for I, us I, or, or – Not that we worked out. That, 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 that actually was, worked. That was good. Right. That was good. I mean, do we have to go back to – Brad to, Lynch. You know, I mean, it Lynch probably. Be. It might be. I mean, you're not talking that many years ago. Yeah, um, I mean, so right, when, did, when, did Lynch, when did Lynch retire? Ten. Ten? Yeah. So probably Brad Lynch. 48 for 48. Yeah. Yeah. You you I did a photo him. you did a photo op with him all weekend. Yep. You like, and all he weekend. said, "Well, <laughs> I mean that was a heavy, that around. was a heavy Saturday. <laughs> it that's, was. That's that was a that was, was a good, good Saturday. Him and Tommy Green, Tommy Green, yeah. Lisa, yeah. Dolly, you. It's fun. I yeah. my invite got lost in the mail, but anyway, <laughs> this was for Dolly's birthday. I understand, I understand, but you know, so, um, so, oh well, yeah, I mean Robertson. Yeah, they announced today he's been out surgery. Yeah, he's done for the year. Yeah, Tommy John, so he's uh, he's going to be done for a year. So that that didn't work out. Right, three top, you know. top relievers of the Daenerys all down. You know, it, thirty it, innings you got out of, out of three guys this year. <laughs> it was just funny last night watching when they panned into the bullpen. You know, there's there's Eflin and our starting rotation. Yes, <laughs> uh, yeah, now, I can say Liz was a trade. It doesn't count. I guess. Oh, he's talking homegrown. He's Free talking. Agent-wise. He's talking. He's talking uh, a Philly prospect. Uh, well, was he? Was he a trade? I thought he was. How about uh, how about Brad Myers? Myers went to the pen. Yeah. Myers went to the pen for a while. Yeah, I don't know if he was a trade or not. Yeah, he was. was yeah. Yeah, because I remember they brought uh, him in from the Astros. I thought. Yeah. yeah. Well, I thought after they let him go. Jack is saying Lidge was a trade. Yep. Jack, when are you coming here to be part of the show on a Wednesday <laughs> night? Huh? When we start talking about board check. Seriously, we, 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 yeah, we, we, many free agents, we're so. working on a third tin can, but we have a fourth chair. Okay, so he, he's he's talking about a free agent that was signed. Gotcha. Right now. So. Free agent signing in the bullpen. I got That's it. a great question. Yeah, it is a great question. That's a great question. I think he might have stumped us. Maybe possibly Nishak for his first year before, before we got rid of him. Oh, oh, first time. He was he wasn't that good then. Well, but he was, he was an all star. <laughs> I'm just I'm just saying if you're reaching, you're reaching. I mean, he was an all star that year. That's what I said, Jack. Hockey season's not far behind. No, it's not. <laughs> Pretty soon we'll have four sports to talk about. There we go. All yeah. four. August first tomorrow. It is August first tomorrow. So summer's half over. <laughs> it's shot. Yeah. Kids around here go back to school in three weeks. Right. Real. Oh, that's right. Yeah. They got forgot. Yeah, they three start weeks. going back before. Yeah, before the- no wonder they come in and they're all <laughs> mean, <laughs> miserable, mean, and nasty, and <laughs> miserable, and you know. God. But yeah. um, not ma- not many. Yeah. We, we, we reach. Yeah, we reach for them. It, is, well, it a, is it a reach or, or we don't evaluate these these people, these players, enough to, to get them while they're still good? Or, you know, do our scouts not have the foresight to see who's going to work out, who's going to be good, well, who's, gonna be good and who's not? You know, this team spends an awful lot of money scouting. They spend a ton of money, and I just I, – I, Why? Where, where, where are the rewards? Right. That's kind of my question. Where are the rewards? So, you know, everybody's blaming Clentock. Everybody's blaming Kapler. What are the scouts doing? Oh, no, the, the scouts are, I mean, you got three, three prospects. Right. In four years with, with, with Clentock in the field. Okay. You just made it funny, did you? I did. Yeah. Yeah, I caught a, I got picked <laughs> up on that right no, away. I mean, so, you know, seriously, what are they doing? You know, it, it, it was it was obvious that the Phillies were uh, – thank you, Wendy. The picture is perfect. Nice. Is that two-thirds or is that the whole table with Mario in it? Or That's uh, kind of like that this work? side over. <laughs> I think so I need a higher You spend laptop. all this money overseas. You, you build a facility in the Dominican. Yeah. 
you know, when do we start to reap the rewards of all this? When does this come to, to, to well, wow, we got the next David Ortiz. Right. We got the next Ramon Martinez. We got the, I mean, when, when, does, when does this happen? So no, I mean, it's you know it, it's tough when you have teams like the Yankees that are always buying it, right. If they all seem to have like the ins, well, they don't care about the luxury tax. Well, no, they exactly. don't care. No, no, they don't but, care. But they have the fewers already out there. There's all these, it's you know, it's like Duke with basketball. All, all the players go to you know they want to go to all the McDonald's, all American McDonald's, all Americans go there. You know, it's they they have like these people that they they know so. Our scouts are, are paying the scouts over there in the Dominican the wrong the wrong the wrong people. They're getting the wrong information. Um, it's it just the more you if, the more you dig into it, the, the the crazier it gets. It is. No, it's true. Yeah. The crazier it gets. Yeah. There's, you know that that and okay, I don't know how, how many players have we picked up in the past. I guess June we yeah, picked June up a couple. Five, five, five right. In July we picked up a bunch. Yeah, yeah, but these players. are these are these are like fillings, right? These are these well, are right. guys that are just gonna right up the eat year. up some innings and 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 fill in for yep. you know for a couple of injuries. I mean this is this isn't gonna be part of a winning team, right? These guys that we picked up. No, I think I they're mean, just they trying they to could patch. Be. I mean, you know, they could oh, be give me one. Give me one. Of of all the guys that we picked up since since James, since James, James Bruce. Yeah. Which was what? The end of June, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it, it, Drew Smiley, if, he's, if, he, if he pitches to his talents and see before he, before he got hurt, it could, be, it could be a good move. I mean, I, you know, I didn't like it when he first got him, but I mean, it's. Well, you sound pretty good. No, 12, no, no, 12 right. scoreless well, innings has got you fired up. <laughs> oh, but, you know, it's also his pedigree before he got hurt, so it, it's something working. You know, and, and you know, tomorrow, you know, the next start he has, maybe he's not. He's back to his old form. There's a reason why he was let go. There's always a reason why right. he was let go. Yeah, you know, same thing with, with you know, Blake Parker getting released. Who? Blake Parker. <laughs> not Peter Parker. <laughs> but Blake Did you just make that up? <laughs> maybe we do need Peter Parker. He might. You know, he might, he might do a better job. Let's get this straight, all right? We brought you on for your Phillies knowledge, not your sense of humor, all right? <laughs> So much. Just kidding. Just you don't kidding. have a sense of humor. Uh, Just no. It's, he's got a great wow. sense of humor. He's got a great sense of humor. Come on. When, when you look as ugly as I do, you got to have a sense of humor. <laughs> so, get through life. Uh, so we have at least two ugly guys here. Here's, here's what we got going tonight. What's that? We look good. Yeah, <laughs> I see that. We look good. So do we need to start dressing the part now? No. So, <laughs> so we need gold chains. Oh, I got that. We need gold chains. I got some, that. Some bling. <laughs> All right. If we're gonna be, if we're gonna be looking good, we we need, we're fooling people. All right, I'm providing blame for everybody. There you go. <laughs> there you go. You know, I, but, but the Minnesota Twins are, are DFA guys, and they're in, they're in a first place for, for their division. They're they're, they're wild or a playoff team. They're DFA guys, and we're we're pulling them on their team. You know, on on the outside, it doesn't look good, but Drew Smiley's pitch well. Look what we gave up, and that's that's the point that, that's frustrating. We're not giving up anything. We, we, had five, we had five guys that we acquired. We gave up Jake Shiner and Austin Bozer. You got a Shiner. We got a Shiner. <laughs> so you know, it, so we have an unrelated question. So everyone wants to know how they can, how they can watch the show in person. PJ Willahans. There you go. So next week. next week we will be at PJ Willahans in Newtown Square with the one and only Matt Stairs. Not Rich, John. <laughs> Rich is uh, Rich has helped bring us some players here. Okay. Rich works out of the Washington, Virginia area. Okay. Uh, leader in sports. Well, thank uh, you. He's a, he's a good he's a good guy. I got That's you. why I gave him a shout out. Um, speaking of shout outs, yes, our friend Renee and Bell on South Street. They are awesome. Well, they're not not through Nice really Street. Nice Street. 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 The Italian market. Yes. The Italian market. They, 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 they threw me a hell of a birthday oh, party. Oh, absolutely. They threw me a hell of a birthday party. Where's my invitation? Where's um, both ways? I believe you were at the Phillies game. No, that was you Friday. Were at Bradley. Where were you Saturday? Saturday. I thought that was Bradley Saturday. No, it was Friday. Oh, okay. 
Uh, you didn't get invited. <laughs> you didn't get invited. Plain and simple. Plain and, plain and simple. You, it was my birthday. You promised me a present. No pasta sauce. Nothing. I got I, nothing. I, I, I got minute. nothing. I, I got was, nothing. I was the president. I didn't show up because I wasn't invited. <laughs> they did ask for it. I know. I saw. I, I watched. I watched the video. We had the so Facebook I Live. I saw that. We got the 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 best coffee drinks ever. He, he does. So the best damn cannolis. So I mean, we we need to go down there. Washington. We need to go down there and do a show for now. If you're diabetic, you can't go. Yeah, you, <laughs> can't, you can't go. Walking in the place, you'll you'll, <laughs> you'll yeah, you'll, you'll you're going to a diabetic. Call. So he was sitting there with 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 a group of people. <laughs> we walked in. He acknowledged me by name. Right. Got up and came over. Yep. I, I was just, I was, just, you know, I got anybody that's got a sweet tooth. You like chocolate? Rim, you like ca coffee? Rim Cafe, Ninth yep. Street. Need right to go. down, right. Go to, go to, go to Gino's. Go to Pat's, and then walk up the street for dessert. So, <laughs> so, let's plan to do a show down there one time. We talked about. This. I know. But we actually got to do a, it. This is a bad subject, so. All right. Because Re Renee, I won't. <laughs> All right, we'll, 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 we'll talk leave, offline. We'll leave it there. We'll talk offline. But um, so. he's got he's got a heck of a heck of a situation. So uh, Villa Daroma first. Yes. Old, is that old where you went? School, old school Italian dinner. I love that place. You know, forget the, 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 the glitter and all the fanciness no. And, no. and all that. You want old school Italian? No, they're all no much. cheeseburgers. No cheeseburgers. No cheeseburgers. Yeah. yeah. I feel yeah. Like but, oh. They got great food. Go like visit them. Yeah. Bucket of mussels, chicken parm, you fried asparagus. It. Can't beat it. The, uh, the villa salad. You oh, can have my French oh, bread. Oh, <laughs> I didn't think I'd like them either. Oh, really? Good. Oh, so anyway, we got right, our so course. Back to, yeah, back to sports. Right? I'm now hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now hungry. Exactly. Uh, the Phillies have made me very nauseated. Uh, I'm, pers I'm personally not happy. Well, you know, I, I thought a a move of significance would have would have been in the works. Nope. Don't shake your head, no, because the guys that were traded today. Right. Am I wrong? What was given up? They gave up nobody. I, I, I mean, did not expect them to do anything. But, but there were, there were moves of that made sense for the Phillies. The okay. Phillies are closer than the Reds and the Mets, and I get that. You know, go for it. You know, it, it, you know this, this, this sitting on your hands. You know, you, you I know what it. this reminds me of. This is the Flyers and Ron Hexall right. all over again. Exactly right. Okay. Oh, this is Chip Kelly and the Eagles so, all over again. So are we moving from the problem being Kapler to the problem being Clentot? Well, we blamed it on Kapler early on. Right? Until, until we learned that right, he's a puppet. <laughs> until we learned. He's talked to enough guys I know. that have supported the manager. I was here for some of them, so I, I heard the conversation. And the one, the one was like, hey, I don't know what's going on upstairs. Right. When he when we were asked to shut the the video, <laughs> the video off, I remember that. So, you know, so, so where do we go from here? Well, you, you, the season's pretty much a wash at this point. I'm talking. You got to go with, about. I'm talking about for the future. Well, because I'm not worried about the season. Well, well, next year we'll get Al Bone shoved down our throat as a third baseman. Okay. You know, hopefully, he gets the 40 home runs like Charlie Manuel says. I'm okay with that to make up for the. 40 to 50 errors he's going to make. <laughs> or, or not be, not, not, he may not make the errors, he's just not going to catch the balls. Right. That are just yeah, passing cool. out, out of the range. <laughs> um, so then what are they going to do with that? Franco? Franco going after this year? Well, he's under control for a couple of years. So, you know. So do they platoon him with Bone for, for at third? I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't get rid of him unless you have the 100% assurance that Bones going to be in third base. Okay. That actually can play third base. <laughs> so you keep him. Excuse me while I laugh. Yeah, well, I'm just saying that that's what's going to get shoved down our throats. So, so you, you keep him for a while till you see if he works out. 
And if he does work out, then well, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Who plays a better third base than, than Miguel Franco on this team? I'm I'm after watching him for the last couple weeks, months, I'm okay with him playing every day. They don't have another third base right. with the arm that he has. Right. Yep. Does, does the agility he, he's got? He goes into those on. walls, you know what I mean, where he doesn't hit. But they all do. Everybody does. They right. all do. Exactly. They all do. Right. But i got to have the defense. If you're not right. hitting, i got, I got to have you running the bases aggressively and, and doing all the small things. This is and, why I And keep having saying. that gun at third base. Right. And this is why I keep saying you got to play him every day. Because right. that's what you get when you play him every day. So why is this so difficult? It's because of the analytics. Right. The, the numbers are saying, you the know. The numbers are saying, do this, do that. That's, and that's the problem. And that's, that's and the that's problem. The read, that's the reading part of and the analytics. And that's the problem right there. <laughs> well, that, that's the, 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 the use of the analytics is, is, is the way, you know, you know, we joke about it. It's the hard hit balls and just what they look at. And, you know, The war, the whip, the, right. know, the this, the day. You know, it's, it's, but, it's but, out of control. You, know, you, you see guys that, you know, Hit the ball hard four times, but he made it out. Okay, that's great. You know, but he's out. Right. Um, you know, and not beat the shift. Not Bill Kennedy, he is not getting a big payday here in Philadelphia. Who's that? Frank Frank Probably not. He is not. Uh, I would hope he does, myself personally. I would love to see he, that. He is not getting a big payday. But, yeah, the more the more and more you see it. I mean, they're already talking. You know, there's talks that Rendon they were looking to get. I I don't see – I think that would be a mistake as far as going for Rendon, for the money that you would spend on Rendon. It's not that much of, a, of an upgrade than Franco. Um, he does hit like a – No, no, he, no, he hits well, but he, I'm saying – He hits like a monster. But is he going to be in the lineup every day? Right. That's the problem. He gets, he gets hurt. If that, if it, is that what you're throwing at me for, for a replacement? Well, that's what I think. Can I bring back Scott Rowland? Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is Mike Schmidt available? Uh, he's, he's here every Sunday. Yeah, he's here. I don't know if he's be doing <sighs> yeah. any good. I mean, it's. That, 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 I think that's what, you know. I think they want to become the Yankees and just throw money. In. Like, you know. There's only they're, one. Yeah, there's there's, there's only one Yankees. Yankees. Yeah, no, I understand that. I'm just saying. I, the Houston Astros are are are. They're doing a good job. <laughs> They're doing a fine job of trying to right. become the Yankees. But the Yankees are the Yankees. I mean, you want to talk about them and injuries? Right. I mean, where where do they keep fucking their guys I mean, from? They got probably $100 million sitting on the payroll. You know, that's that's not injured. playing. It's not playing. That may never play. <laughs> right. And then they just move on. And, and here we are complaining about Nishak and Hunter and Robertson and everybody else. else we have. You know, it, it's just. You know, we you were sold a bill of goods, right, in right. March? You know, you signed Harper. We're going to be, you know, we're going to be aggressive. Yeah. We're going to be aggressive. Well, they were aggressive to get Harper, and then they stopped being aggressive. No, well, they've, they've been aggressive getting getting guys. I mean, it's, you know, the moves that go, going out and getting Bruce, you know, before the cut she got hurt, which, okay. then, you know, was, was a bonus. You know, It just it seems to not work out for them. Well, it did, that didn't work out. I mean, it, but I mean, Couch got hurt. Yeah, that that hurt. that kind of put the team in a in a tailspin, right? A little bit. Yeah. Just 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 because they, you know, they lost him and Odubel all in that same week, right? Time span, and you know, they just had nobody to replace. You know, Couch was your leadoff guy. Did a darn good job Absolutely. at it. Absolutely played a solid left field, filled in in center when need be. It was their attitude. He oh was, yeah, he was. Just, he was. So, he still is. Oh no! Follow him on Twitter. You know, yeah, dancing right. in the dugout. He's still that guy. I'm glad they're you know allowing what I mean? him to be in the dugout. Absolutely. Because I think, I think that's absolutely. Helps. So, you know, but you know, you know just, I, I just don't. I just don't know where you go from here. I just don't. The mindset of this management group. I just don't understand. The if, problem is there isn't a mindset. The mindset's here. What on this what fan's view? Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. We got a better mindset. Absolutely. Because we're using this, not this. Well. And that's really well, what they're basing wait, everything on. You know, your previous World Series winners right, are, are heavy on analytics. The Cubs, the Astros, the but, Red Sox. 
They're they're on they the analytics. They are, but they don't rely solely on that. Correct. And they also have talent. They got horses. They got talent. Right. They got yeah. horses. They yeah. got players. They got players. They got backup players. We're they not got Mitch Smiley. <laughs> and, 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 and 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 it's you know we're th- we're throwing it out there, but he's he's pitched well. Right. You know, for us for those two games so far. Joe Stinger, you're absolutely right, buddy. It all starts yep. on the mound. Absolutely. Right. It all and, starts and 60 feet, 6 inches. Here's here's what I see happening is when we get behind, the batters get frustrated. Absolutely. They don't hit, and then it just, it's, it just, it's a downward spiral yeah. at that point. Right, and then you're chasing your tail. Right. You know, tail. if the starter doesn't get it done, you you know, you're, you're, you're plucking anybody out of the bullpen, because, and, and you yeah. have no idea what you're going to get. You yep. don't know what you're going to get on a given night. That is absolutely It's true. just been a sad and, – and, I mean, I can't blame the manager. No. No. At this you point, know what I mean? Captain I got Illinois. enough I can blame right. on him. There's there's enough blame to go around. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just – I'm just I, – I want to hear from Middleton. I want to hear from the owner. Right. He's the one that's writing these checks. Right. What What's your next move? I think he's depending on the other two well, to do it. Let me tell you. Andy McVail – Hadn't won anything since 1991. Correct. Okay. So, what was Clint hadn't won anything yet. So what was what was his reasoning behind behind getting them? Was it him? I'm, that shaking, did it? I'm shaking my head. Yeah. Was it I'm him that did it, head. or did he go out and get McPhail and then? Well, McPhail. I think this was pre Middleton, if I'm not mistaken. If I could correct was me. It? I think that I don't think Middleton was was the majority owner. So he's just dealing with what he well, has. As far as the majority, because well, Middleton's been around for a while. He right. has, but he was not, not the majority. Not majority, majority. Not he majority. wasn't the majority owner writing the checks and calling the shots. Right. It's a it's a new which I kinda, it's a new alignment now in, yeah. in, in the owner's box. So so I, I just I mean I know injuries are part of it, and we've talked about it since day one. You know, it's just I just love to know and see what direction that they. I mean, you think Harper signed up for this? Well, of you, course he didn't. Well, you, you, you heard him already complaining. He's like, we want to win World Series or we want to keep prospects. You know, he's throwing it out there. Right. You know, you're, you're holding on to Al Bohm, who's never going to play here unless we trade the prospects. So you're going to get him jammed down our throat next year as a third baseman just because to prove, to prove us wrong at first and say, hey, he's our third baseman, he's going to go out. Hit, and then we're gonna find out what's Ariad on the books for yeah, one, more, one more years, year. Uh, one more year, Jack. So we got them all through 2020. Yeah. And actually, technically, two two team options for two more years. Oh, really? I love them team options. Yeah. I mean, so, so you love know, them. Yeah, you know, he's, he's not gonna be picked up for those. Wow. Love, love them. So are, we, are we able to trade him at all? Or is that who would want him? Yeah. You want him to tin bar at the club? You know what? He'd, be, he'd probably be miserable at it. He's miserable, period. So, well, but the, the thing is, you got – he's hurt right now. Right. Yeah, you know, and he's pitching through it, so, you know, what – What is he not hurt? Well, oh, but I'm saying, what do you, you right. going to get from him? That's, you know, so at least he's – So do you do you bite the bullet, get rid of him, trade him for somebody just so he's not a factor anymore? <laughs> Well, the, if you had somebody else behind him, like if you would have gone out and got a Marcus Stroman, right? Then you have a chance. Or if you, you know, that, and, that, and he's with is, the he's with the who now? The New York Mets. He's had right. it. Yeah. yeah. So this he's is this it. is this is why we should have done something before today for a better starter. Well, that was my whole that was my whole thing. Right. right. If you got if we got a one more starter and pitcher, right? That was a Stroman, like a, a top flight guy, right? It sets our team up so much better. Just just look at what Drew Smiley's done for us. Right. In our two starts, so at least how, we how the team two. looks better. Well, but he, he, it's just a guy that it could be like him. Give us six, seven innings. Yeah, and then our bullpen looks better. Somebody who can go a little longer than you, you what can, we've been having. Right, right. But your bullpen will look better because you're not using them, you know. For the entire game? Right, yeah. These guys are having a little conversation. <laughs> you know, that, that's, that's my whole point. It's just like... And, and you're going to throw this year away now, because I, I don't think I think they threw this year away 
Wow. Ah, oh, bite your tongue. <laughs> bite your tongue. I mean, Jeez. you know, hey, I mean, they, they still have it. They, Mr. Positivity. No, I mean, they, they still have chances. I mean, I, you know, I'm still going to get down there at games, you know, right. hoping that they're going to win. But, hey, you know, you, but you see the Mets, look, look at their starting rotation. You're still going to play them like 10 more times this right. year. All right, so let's quickly go around the horn, okay? Behind the dish, JT, right? Yeah, He's absolutely. our guy. Yep. Yep. Got to resign him, right? Yeah, yeah, Got to resign him long term. Yes. Right? Four or five year deal. He wants to be here. Right? Yep. So right, so he he's our catcher. Yeah. You know? First base, Reese. Hoskins or yeah. Bone? Either one. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're probably going to go Hoskins. Yeah. Hoskins. Yeah. So when Bone plays, where's Hoskins going? Well, he's going to be treated. Right. But like I said, I, I, I got I got a little fire when I mentioned that a couple weeks ago. <laughs> I, I, I I say trade the prospects. You, you know. Okay, so we're going to go Reese at first. Yeah. Yep. Two out of three, you lost. Uh, I like second, the way you just you just said. I said uh, we're both. Or, I know. Well, you got you get one. Uh, okay, I'm Bo Reese. That, that, was, that was my guy all along. All right, so we we majority rules. <laughs> yeah. Second base. Second base. I think in the in the analytical world, you got to keep both Hernandez and thinking. Uh, and then, you have one choice. Well, how long do we have Hernandez for? He's under control again next year. Okay, so we have him for at least two years. Okay, well, a year and a half. Let me ask. Let me throw this scenario at you. Yeah. Any chance he can play third base? Uh, we've I tried. We've tried everything else. No, right? I, I mean, he can't do any worse than what, what a Kingery would do. So if that's if that's you know what I'm saying as far as okay, so we got a question mark at second. So it's Kingery, no. Kingery should be well, there. I don't think, yeah, I don't right. think. Yeah, Kingery, Kingery should, should be yeah. there, but we got to move Hernandez. Shortstop, we're stuck with Mr. Hustle. <laughs> Number two, Mr. Hustle. Right. Third base, we've got a question mark. Third base. In my mind, no, it's Franco. Yeah. I, I'm a John. We roll with. <laughs> excuse just, me. Just we roll. With, we roll with 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 uh, Miguel. Just yeah. because you got the money that you would have to spend at third base, unless Ball, you know, gets. 40 homers, 40 errors. Becomes, becomes more. A, a ballerina over there. He can get his feet that he can play third base. You know, you, you, you got to go get an upgrade. You're going to have to spend. Okay, so know. let's go Let's go outfield. Yep. Right field's covered, Harper, Harper, Harper. covered for the next 13 years. Yep. Right. Center field. Center field, I guess that they can do, so, do with uh, Hazley for next year and then. Well, is, is Cuts done after this year? No. No, he's got two more years. He's got two more years. We didn't get the left field game. Right? I'm just – I mean, he, he, he's uh, easily the question, easily the question, you know, possibly, but after coming back on the ACL, you know, he's not going to – his performance is going to drop. Right. I mean, he was he was doing the job now, right. but he was struggling before the, the ACL. So, I don't think – Well, that could be why he was struggling. Well, possibly. Because he, he could have been coming on. Who knows? But, um you know, so I, I think you'd have to do Hazley or go get some. Or Mr. Hustle could have run out in the play and it, it, we wouldn't be talking about this. <laughs> Let me just interject that. Right. So hopefully Kutch is back next year at some point. Yeah. Left, left field. He'll probably be June. So right. you're well, now, you got, now you got Bruce and you got this uh, Corey Dickerson guy. Right. Who can, who can be a full-time slash part-time player. Right. And you still got Nick Williams and Nick Roman Quinn. Okay, so who do we keep and who do we get rid of? You trade um, Bruce? Well, no, no. I mean, you're, you're still need a guy off the bench, right? Yeah, you know, Bruce. Yeah, you got Bruce cheap. Yeah, Bruce, right. Bruce, Bruce is Bruce is here on, on on Seattle's dime. So right. you, you, there's keep no him. there's no reason to get rid of him right. unless somebody threw Cy Young at you. Right. You got. I mean, that's just right. You know. So. Yeah. He's a bat off the bench, if nothing else, you know. Right. But, no, or he plays. He's going to be our left fielder to start right. the season. Exactly. So we, we have a truckload of outfielders. Well, I wouldn't so, know about a truckload. I mean, because <laughs> you got Nick Williams and, right. and Quinn that they don't. So that we get rid of them? I'm sure they'll, they'll probably be, if they're, you know, they should have <laughs> gone now. You know, well, in the street down, you know, scenario. Why we need to go to everybody else's shirt. <laughs> <laughs> so. 
So basically, you, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm figuring this all out. And we've got another 56 games to play. Somewhere around there. We're trying to eke into the playoffs. Right. And hope, and hope for the best. Okay. Okay. Which, on some good nights. It could happen. It could happen. Absolutely. Okay. Not to be negative. <laughs> here's, the, here's the problem. We're not brought on the show to be negative. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm saying the, the, In your humor. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> Yeah, the, um, <coughs> you know, say we make the wild card. We got Nola, the pitch. We win that. Now we're going into our divisional series. We don't get Nola for the, till game four. Maybe game three, depending on days off. Yeah, because they get a lot of, they get days off. They so get days off, yeah, right? So be, most likely it'd be game three. So, so you're not, start. you're not happy with Vargas or, or, uh, or Drew Smiley or, well, that's what I would say. Smiley, smiley, smiley. smiley. You'll probably you'll have Vargas. I guess we got to see how things kind of right. finish out with these guys. That's, that's why. That's why, like I said, pretty pretty far before the horse. Those, two, those two guys, I would, I would <clears> like it if they were in the rotation. If we had another horse, maybe maybe Vinny gets his head out of his out of his bucket and nah. and you know can can maybe see the handwriting on the wall that Eflin's out in the bullpen. The vet is out in the bullpen, and you're soon to be out in the bullpen. He's been out in the bullpen, and then he's been back. And we so, we need him and so maybe you know, maybe we'll get a burst of energy there. Who knows? I mean, I, I hope so. I mean, he's got the arm, and that's you know. So we we you know we'll we'll fast forward this and thing and, and speed it up, speed it up completely. <laughs> you know. What's uh, up? No, you just go for hit. Ah, the last yeah. So. You're not going to watch the game. <laughs> no. <laughs> See, it wasn't me this time. No, I'm just. <laughs> we've, we've, we've gone around the horn with, with the Phillies. It's, it's um, pitching. This, this offseason is all pitching. It's got to be. has to be. Hold your thought. Yep. we got some work to do. Okay. we got to talk about next week a little bit. All right. Okay. It's a big week for us. Uh, it's huge. A huge. It's a huge week huge. for us. Huge. Okay, we got. We got. <clears throat> Into the night, Matt Stairs yeah. on board with I us. Need one of these, by the way. We're going to talk. We're going to talk to Matt. We're going to talk a lot of hitting with Matt. Okay. Matt's going to Matt's going to break it down for us. Okay. He he was here. Did a pretty good job as the hitting coach. Yeah. You know what I mean. Kind of kind of feel like he got dealt the sure, a like bad hand. hand, a real bad, a bad. He was a real bad, bad hand. hand. Yes. He had, uh, so. he, had, he had Franco turned around. I would like to uh, would be nice yeah. to have him back there. Maybe while he's in town for alumni weekend, we would have him. Maybe talk. maybe somebody talks to him. Just say it. Hey Matt, what do you think? Yeah. You hearing that? <laughs> so we got Matt on board next week, which we are super excited about. We got uh, if anybody's interested, you got a five dollar raffle. Okay. For a VIP seat right next to Matt Stairs. Well, yeah. kind of, because we got the VIP <laughs> seats next. Trust me, it's going to be a <laughs> VIP meet and greet if I know Dan. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So you get an autographed jersey, you get the whole the whole night experience, you know, right there front and center with Matt. A fifty dollar gift card from our sponsor PJ Willihans. Yep. There's some other perks. It's it's well worth the five dollar raffle ticket. Yeah. That money goes to Phillies charities. Nice. And. Not the money to spend on another pitcher. It goes to to the charities. <laughs> so you got that going on. There's going to be drink specials. Yes. I'm really excited about this one. You heard of moonshot, right? Yes. Uh, how about moonshine? Shine, yep. Nice. Huh? How about nice. that one? So they say what flavor it was? Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Uh, so I think we have to do a moonshot on the show with Matt. We'll talk about that. All right. We'll talk, we'll talk about, about that. <laughs> um, we'll have our, our normal uh, raffles. Yep. Free raffle ticket. Throw it in the bucket. We're going to pull out winners. We'll be giving out all kinds of cool stuff. I'm hearing, right. I'm hearing some things, and it's looking pretty good. All right. And so Sounds Lauren's, like, uh, Lauren's putting that together. Oh, uh, sure. I'm, I'm out of this stuff. So we'll have, we'll have that. And you're preparing the I'm trivia. I'm doing the trivia. You're preparing the trivia list? Yep. 
So we're going to get a bunch of baseballs signed. All right. Much like we did with Lou and, and uh, Brian Prop with yeah. hockey pucks. Stairs is a big hockey guy. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, Jack hockey. wants us to talk hockey with him. Stairs is a big hockey guy. <laughs> He'll have no problem talking. He loves hockey. So uh, we got a lot going on. So Matt's going to be in the house from 6 to 6.30 in the Four Seasons yeah, he's bar. He's going to be uh, doing guest bar tenders. So Sierra, Sierra, Sierra and Matt in the Four Seasons right. room. Shout out to Sierra. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 6.30 to 7.30, he's on board with us. Yep. This fan's new. I'm really stoked. I'm, I'm, I get goosebumps every time. <laughs> I think, Man, this, is, this is awesome. Yeah. This is awesome. 6.30 to 7.30. Awesome. The weekend. Yeah. You and me and everybody it's gonna else. Be packed. Yeah. It's going to be packed. 7.30 to 8, he goes out to the big bar. Okay. And hangs out with the people there, guest bartending. Or in the moonshine. Maybe he'll stay afterwards and hang out. You never know. I don't know. I mean, we've got him dialed in from 6 to 8. Um, they've been sharing our page. His wife, Lisa, has been sharing our page. Yeah. Um, so we're pretty stoked about this. I, you know, I, I, I don't think I have to tell you guys how, how cool this is. Yeah. So yes. um, for us guys, for Mario, myself, John, who's – you know, we've we've added to the show. Not sure why yet. We haven't figured that out. <laughs> he just kind of he kind of like just hangs around all Wednesdays, you know, <laughs> hoping we'll ask. Uh, you figured that out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, today kind of was the icing on the cake. So, um, wow, you got the show coming up. Yeah. A little while. You know, Traffic's going. <laughs> yeah, right now. I can't get home right now. So we're we're stoked. <clears throat> we're stoked. Yeah. Come out, hang out. Uh, we're going to have a blast. Uh, we got a lot going on. Follow, like the page, um, share it. We're giving away a $50 gift card to PJs right now. Exactly. Tell um, your friends. Yeah, we're on YouTube as well. Get that. Yeah, get that well, up. our slackers yeah, kind of, you know, dropped the ball. Yeah, and, uh, likes and stuff and get well, I need, yeah. to, I need to talk to him about that. So uh, <laughs> we're doing, we're doing so a hell of a job. That was our talk. Yeah. We're doing a hell of a job here on Facebook. Apparently, you know, the, the, the five gigs that they installed. And, yeah, it's working. And took the uh, dinosaurs out of here. I think we need to might maybe go back. <laughs> so we can't really. We are going forward, forward. much like the Phillies. Yes. Okay? Well, hopefully we're going fast. Well, yeah. you know, so I'm, I'm pretty excited. Um, if you guys got any questions about next week, um, feel free to, yeah, you yeah, know. one of us up. Mario, myself, Lauren, you know, this fan's view page. Um, this weekend, Carl's Cards and Collectibles, Phillies alum, Tony Taylor, Juan Samuel, in the house signing autographs from 11 to 1230. There you go. Pretty cool. Two all famers. Yeah. Pretty cool. A couple weeks ago, we had Greg the Bull and Willie the Philly. Yeah. Martinez. How'd that uh, go? Went very well. Yeah. You know, they. Packed the house. Really, they love they love these these old Phillies with oh, their yeah. stories and absolutely. It, it's just it, it's just good vibes. Yeah, good vibes talking about the old Phillies, the new the Phillies. Phillies. You know, so I'm sure Matt's going to share some stories oh, with us. I can imagine. You know, he was most recent the uh, hitting coach out in San Diego. Right. Um, so he's unemployed at the moment, uh, but we're or, campaigning heavy for him to get him yes. back in baseball. Dude, I would um, love to have him here. So Matt is. Do uh, you, you think he would come back? Matt loves Philly. Yeah, I know. Matt loves to come back. Well, baseball is in your blood. You always yeah. Come back. Yeah, I'm but sure. Come back here. I'm sure he would love to put the pinstripes on one more time. All right. Where else is he want to walk in here? Yeah, that's true. You remember that home run? Yeah. And surely you remember. Absolutely. That. Surely on. you remember. He will never have to buy a beer in Philadelphia <laughs> again. Again. Or dinner. Yeah, so um, we're pretty pretty excited about next week, week number forty for for uh, that's a good this, way. To, this fan, good way to do this 40. fans view. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're 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 more than excited. We we got a ton of stuff going on. Um, so let's get back to some sports talk. Okay. We're, we're, how much time do we have? We got we need to ten get minutes. A clock. We need we to have get a clock a, right here. Yeah, but I can't see that. I can barely see in front of me. You you, you don't need to worry about. That. Well, I just you know. I love it's it's awkward, like 
What time is it? We got we got ten ten percent ten. Ten percent. Yeah. Ten minutes. We'll, we'll make it an even number for sure. So I had a I had an awesome uh, friend, JJ Nielsen, who stopped in the store today. Um, big time Eagles fan from Arizona. Um, he's in town with his wife and uh, his daughter. Uh, they've been down at uh, training camp. Well, tomorrow will make third three days in right. a row. Yep. Um, so I don't I don't know who he knows, but <laughs> he's uh, you know he he stopped by today. Um, gave us an update on the Eagles and practice. They they went through 10, 10, and ten today. Ten offensive plays, ten right. defensive plays, and I guess ten special teams plays. It's the way they break it down. Okay. Uh, not too many starters, which I guess is right. Is, yeah, you, know, you, you pretty much assume that, right? Yep. Um, Philly, Philly. <coughs> What's that? Philly, Philly in there? <laughs> you got to think that's still in the playbook, right? I think so. But Nick's now in, in Jacksonville. Right. You got Trey in, in Chicago. Yeah. So they're spreading the Philly, Philly all over around. Right. The NFL, right? I have to call Jersey Jersey if it's a Corey. <laughs> right, right. Shout out to Corey Clement. He's our, he's one of our guys. Oh uh, man. So yeah, we're, um, you know, I guess next week is uh, game one, right? Yeah. Game one, yeah, game one, first, spring training game. Yeah. Next Thursday night, I believe. Is, is it the uh, Titans? I yeah. believe it's the Tennessee yeah. Titans. Yep. Um. So somebody wants to know what pitchers that are free agents that the Phillies can maybe be able to get next year. Well, you got um, Garrett Cole. That's, probably, that's, we the big name. Earlier, that's right? probably the big name. Yeah. That's, that's the big name for everybody. So, I mean, you know, hopefully. So we don't get him, we don't want anybody? Um, no, there's, there's a few other guys. Um, you know, it just all depends on who gets qualified most this. Right. Zach Wheeler's up there. Right. You got Zach Wheeler of the Mets, Gold Cast, Keiko. Uh, okay. uh, that's right. Keiko only signed one year. Right. right. Okay. And uh, who, who did we figure out if Archer from Pittsburgh? Archer is. Yep. Archer from Pittsburgh. Archer. Um, Alex Wood. You know, the more I think about, I mean, what did what did uh, the Astros give up to get? Right. Mm-hmm. No, no. Um, Cole. Yeah, Cole. They gave didn't they give up quite a bit? Besides Archer, didn't they give up two or three other? Well, Archer came from Tampa. That's right, Tampa. Um, what they gave up probably some prospects, obviously. I, I think it was all mostly prospects. Nothing that's hurt them, you know, for with their lineup and pitching. They got guys coming out of the you know woodwork, woodwork there. Joe Stinger, I think Cole yeah. Hamels is a uh, he's a free agent. Free agent yeah. But I just, I mean, it, we when we talked about that earlier. Is there anything left in the tank? Would you think he'd go in the bullpen? No. no. Then. But he's still pitching ball with, with yeah. the guys now. And what? Do we need another left-hander? No. Come on. We, 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 we went six years without ones now. Then we, then we're load up and we're going to have we're, all We're going to have all lefties and one righty. Yep. You know, I mean. It's going to be interesting to you see gotta get somebody. what they do. You're going to have to get somebody. Because you, you know that it has one like right. off. Those days are over. Yeah. Those days are shot. If, if we want to take the that. next step. Right. They're, they're very good pitchers. On, on a, on a, they're good pitchers on a very bad team. Okay. You know what I mean? So when, when we, were, we weren't, they looked good the past couple of years when we weren't good. Right. And there was no pressure. You know, for them. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and they were growing, and you know they, you know, that's why they were were traded, and, you know, released us, you know, as well. So, um, you know, and, and we didn't unlock the key to, to what potentially happened. Right. So, so there's a few we, guys that are out there. Why do you think that is that we haven't unlocked the potential? Oh, I see where you're going. I see. Coaching. I see. Right. So I think that falls back on Chris Young. A little bit. And who selected Chris Young? Was it Clentock? With, with, and, with Cap, with, and who gave up what? And where is he? Rick Ransom in Atlanta. Right. 
So if you could have somebody snap them a, right up within a week. Yeah, next day, if you could have somebody as a pitching coach besides Chris Young, who would it be? It's a tough question. I know it's a tough question. Yeah, it's hard to it's hard to say. To, you know, I don't you know don't know all the guys that are out there. It's a it's a it's a tough job. I mean, they get hired and fired. Right. Right. I mean, you know that the Cubs won the World Series, and I think the following year they they, they fired right. they fired they <laughs> fired. The, yeah. I mean, I just I don't quite understand that. Other than maybe they don't get along with Joe Madden. Uh, I mean, look, look, which is very possible. Who's the guy down in Tampa? Hickey. Is it Hickey? Seems to have a pretty good. I pretty good young guys. Right. Seems to have a pretty good idea right. about pitching. I mean, I know Mike Maddox has been around for right. for a long time. Right. I mean, just look look what the Nationals did. You know, earlier this year, they were struggling. Yeah. You know, and just like we are, they got rid of them. So, go on. And now, look at, you know, they got a new guy, pull them wherever they, you know, and, and they're, and they're so back on top now, you know. So we'll try to bring one of them up from, you know, Lehigh Valley or. I don't know. Yeah. And that's, that's a tough call. You know, it's. Our, our buddy Steve, uh, what's his last name? Shrink? Yeah, Steve Shrank is he's the pitching coach down in AAA. Okay. But I mean, he, you know, he helped out Lavetta when he was down. He, he got him figured out in the day down there. Right. And, you, know. It's, you know, coaching at that level is it's difficult. Yeah. Oh, um, you're only as good as the, the the players in front of you. Yeah, and, and it's the one they don't listen to you. I don't know. It's uh, it's tough with, with the town. You know, with all the injuries that we had. You know. Yeah. We got double A and triple A guys that are going to be good in your should be good in the future. Okay, so that goes to the Joe Stinger's question: Who do we have coming up that would be good for us? Well, yeah, pitching, Spe- pitching, wise. pitching wise, you got Spencer yeah. Howard is yeah. your top guy. He just got bumped up to Reading. To Reading, so he's in double A. Adonis Medina, is another he's in double A. Double A. Okay. A lot of work, a lot of work to be. To right. be done there. Right. right, and then there's a few guys down in Lakewood, Francisco Morales. So we're we're at a point where we really don't have good pitching, but we don't have anybody to bring up. N- nobody's that's next, next year, right? Type of bringing up. That's why like I said you're going to have to buy somebody, and that's why you have to. You should have gotten somebody this year. So my my guess, and I probably could be wrong with people. this, is that. I'm talking McPhail spent most of their time trying to get Harper, thinking that they'll work on pitching in this offseason. Well, that, that could be true. I mean, they, 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 they worked the whole offense. Right. And even still now with all the moves with getting Corey Can Jackson. I get back to you on that? Like maybe in December? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I mean, you yeah, know, they went and got Corey Dickey. That's still. just, it's just a guess. They had a chance today. I know. To do some things. I know. Some things that were not rentals. Right, right. that's the big thing. They work. were not rentals. They were not giving up top prospects. Yep. They did none of the above. I, that's what hurts. I honestly think they're waiting for the offseason. What, what does that show the current squad? That they have no idea what they're doing. That's the answer I didn't want to hear. It wasn't okay. true. It's me. I'll tell you the truth. You know, I, I just, I don't, you know, you go out and you're going to waste year one. Right. Of, of a 13-year contract. Of the Harper era. And you're one of JT Rito. Being right. a catcher that you don't hear for another year, so. You know, how about if he gets a taste of, like, bad medicine. Right. And says to his agent, hey. Yeah, get me the hell out of here. You know, maybe this isn't the place I want to finish my career. Well, that, that's, how about that? That's, that was. A big part of right. Amazing. How about that? The yeah. player does have a say in these things. Right, right. You know, I mean, you know, the Braves went out and got two two relievers. You know, they got the most players, but National got three relievers. So, so can can Harper rescind his no trade clause? <laughs> yeah. So, as we close, <laughs> yes. Right. Who's on the hot seat? Who is who is the main guy responsible for all of this right now? I'm talking. Got to be contact, right? It's got to answer all the questions. Absolutely. You know, yes, all, no, maybe, it's all why? Going down the hip. He's, he's making all the calls. 
Tim or McPhail. Yeah. Year four. Give me a grade. Year four of who? Clint Talk? Fail. He is McPhail. Year four. Give me a grade. That made no sense. By the way. I know. I know where you were going. Yeah, I know. But, you know. I, I'd say um, C plus two. I would, really? I, you got I, a high, You got that higher wow. grade? Well, just because he, he's made the moves, he he just he just hasn't finished it. He just hasn't finished it. He's, he's, he's only doing. If he, he would have gotten me a starting pitcher today, and a reliever, I would be giving him a. You're being very generous. Yeah, I, oh, but, but I only got John. He got he got JT. J- gave up a small ransom. He, he right. did. No, but I'm just saying. But he, but he gave he got, up a small ransom. No, he did. And, okay, you know, go ahead. He got the score. Again, again, gave up, again, gave up again, Crawford. Gave you know? up a small <laughs> ransom. No, but not only Crawford, but you gave Carlos Santana back. Right. Who, the year before, you signed up to some ridiculous contract. Yeah. Didn't work out. No. Right? No. But, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Got us McCutcheon. Signed him as a free agent. Right. So, so, overpaid. He overpaid him. Overpaid. And McCutcheon even said I'm so. Shooting holes in this in this no. C plus. No, 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 I'm saying, but, but he, he's, he's shooting he, holes in the C plus. But he he, he made it to be <laughs> there. Like, it wasn't because of a lack of trying. He made you know he made the, the moves. Got Dave Robertson. He got hurt. You're gonna defend that, huh? Well, no, but but I'm just saying. I want to. They probably didn't even that. do a. They probably didn't even do a background check with the, with the doctor. Well, I mean, and that's where the Yankees were giving them up, so you knew something was wrong. I, I think you know? I think you're being too nice. So you well, you got I, a McPhail on him. He's got a C plus. And, Just and because I, there's, there's the moves. I mean, yeah, you know, I mean, I mean, right. I like what he did this past year. I do. Well, that, that's, that's I like I what and he did. I might move him up to a D. Okay, but he's not. It's only this year's. You know. Right. Right. So if you have to grade him on the last four years, oh, on the four years, then it's it's, it's, it's lower because yeah. the only time he actually did anything was this year. If you'd have been paying attention to the page, yeah, you would know that Greg's in the Virgin Islands. No, I knew he was. I wasn't sure if he was still away. Just checking. He was supposed to be in charge of the page. Sorry, Jeez. we were engrossed in a conversation. Hey, you, yeah. you McFailed. Him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah. what? So I mean. So yeah, if you're gonna do all that with with it's four years, right? If you're doing all the four years, because the the, the scout or the farm system is not where it should be, right? So I mean, so in that aspect, he, he's right. So in, he, in, in totality, yeah, he's he's probably what, a thing. What did he do for the first three years that he was here? I didn't right. even know. I didn't even know he was here. Exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So what's I'm your just rate? Kidding. now that we're we're minus two two minutes? I'm on the other side of the ledger. I'm like C minus. So you gave him crap, but he gave him a C plus B. Oh, okay. I mean, and that was just more. It's a, that's a that's a big that's a big grade. Like I said, I want to get a John Smith. Okay, that's a big grade. <laughs> like I said, if, if you would have gotten me, you know, because he also got Harper. That was yeah, that was, yeah but that, that, that was that's on that's on middle. So that that was what, middle. what's middle. your reasoning for a, a C minus? Given the whole four years, not just this year. The whole four years. He had some cleaning out to do. Okay. Okay. Had some cleaning out. And that takes three years to do? No. Okay. But it takes time. Right. Okay. They were they were officially rebuilding. Okay. You, right. had, oh, to yeah. get, you had to get rid of some, some bad contracts. So you had to get rid of some stuff. Are we still in a rebuilding phase? See, this is this is where today in my baseball brain right. was critical. Because right. A, a, you had the opportunity to pick up a starter, a name starter. Yep. You had the opportunity to bolster your bullpen with some good pieces. So today was the final, and he didn't pass. And that, that's, yeah, that's, that's where I got That's the way you want to put it. Today was the final exam, and he didn't no, pass. No, because I've got 56 games to play yet, Right. and anything can happen. You know, we could get lucky, and Jason Vargas – you know, win us half a dozen, seven games. So you're you're giving him a C minus on the possibility of something something. No, no, because they had a lot of injuries. Right. They had a lot of things that just didn't pan out. Okay. 
and the pieces that were put in place in Triple A did not work out either. Right. Yep. So. See, Joe and Joe Stinger and I. You're going to be late to PJ. Sue Henderson is going to be angry. <laughs> <laughs> It'll give her time to order food for us. No. Steve Harris, you're always worried about her. Why is that? Like? <laughs> what, what's up with that? You and Mrs. H go way back. <laughs> hey, I thought we were entertaining tonight. I, I hope everybody yeah, else. When are we not entertaining? We, you know, we don't we don't always hit on. I mean, come on. Last week they barely even saw us. That was pretty bad. That's probably better. That was bad. <laughs> that was bad. But we looked better. But, yeah, you know, anyway. like I said, now that we got the, the dinosaurs out of the room, <laughs> right? Right. Things are things are moving on up. Yep. Oh yeah. So moving on up. Let's do this. <laughs> we'll say. Next Wednesday, PJ Wellahans, Matt Stairs, 6.30, 6 o'clock. Sorry, 6 o'clock. If you're coming early, be there by 6. Actually, if you're coming early, come earlier. <laughs> come early, yeah. early. Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to be it's gonna be packed. Um, see you next week. Have a great week, guys. Thanks, for, thanks for tuning in. Do it with us.